Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are certainly welcome back to the channel again. Keith here from Commander Hoops. If this is your first time viewing, please do click that like and subscribe button below. The nerves are at me. I understand I'm not at the game in Rotterdam. To the Celtic fans that are gone to the game tonight, enjoy the spectacle. Enjoy the nice stadium. Enjoy Holland. Enjoy the nice Dutch people. Just take it all in because European nights like this is made for Celtic to win. And I might not feel like I'm jinxing or I'm expecting a lot from the boys tonight. But let's be honest here. We're playing against a team that finished in the last day of the Europa League last season. The Dutch champions. They're missing their front man tonight, Jimenez. Which, to be honest, I forgot he was he was banned. And this is a game we should be going now. Koyogo needs to be prolific. I mean, like, putting to the bars of, like, Henrik Larsson finishing. Because he has it in him. That he can go out there and change a game. And we need a midfield to be strong. So I've been thinking about this since last night. I've done a preview. I'm going to say it out straight. Which is I think we need to go for a five midfield tonight. I think we need to load the midfield. We need to have a player right behind the striker. And have to force defensive players right across the line. So my starting lineup once again will be Joe Hart. Asda Johnson. This is his first time playing the Champions League. Make a statement. Get stuck in. PSV are going to try hit us on the flank. They have a lot of pace in that team. As I said, don't take this team for granted. They are Dutch champions. They're playing in a stadium of 51,000 as well. So, it's a nice venue. Left back, Greg Taylor. I think Greg Taylor has to show his physical presence tonight and get struck in. And don't be afraid to actually get up the, that flank and take a chance at them. Like Celtic can't be ultra defensive tonight away from home. I understand some fans will be settled with the draw and I've been saying last night it would set a draw I just think about coming close to it this team are not miles ahead of better than us we can go there and cause a threat we have the players to do it we have the resources to do it and I think with a team like Celtic going on to win a domestic treble scoring over 100 goals scoring a couple of goals in the last campaign at Champions League and Europa League experience in there as well the previous season why not it's there for us to go and chase it there's no point of lying back and giving the cl giving Feyenoord a lot of possession and giving them respect. At the end of the day, yet there's a connection between Feyenoord and Celtic fans. It's what happens past them white lions. No club is friendly to us. Get stuck in. Don't give them the respect on the ball and win the tackles and make it difficult for them, especially at home, because their fans will be pressing on them to try score, try cause threats. So... Midfield, load midfield with Callum McGregor, start Rio with Tate, go for Turnbull, go for Matarodi right behind Quayogo. I would start Louis Palme on the left and then Moyeda on the right. I know some people are saying Yang has played more, Louis Palme is not ready, but Louis Palme has European football experience playing there in the previous for his previous club in the Europa League and stuff. So... I'll go for him. I think Louis Palmer for a first half and maybe being Yang on. Depends how the way he's got, the game is going. So, my score predictions for the game tonight, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to say 2 1. I'm going to go 2 1. I think Foynard will score against us early. And um, if we can get into the game, score the equaliser. I have a feeling there's going to be a sending off tonight for them. I just have that feeling. I don't know what it is. I'm going to go 2 1. Sometimes I get my predictions right. So, well, fingers crossed we get predictions right tonight. I'd love to see Brendan Rodgers getting his second away win for Celtic in the Champions League. Our first one was against Anderlecht back in 2017 under Rodgers' era. So, so let's see what happens. Do comment your score predictions below and I shall speak to you all soon. Hail, hail and good luck.